What's up guys? People on Tosh here. Uh, today I'm just going to make a quick video on how to break in your mitt. This thing is my friend's um, and this thing is like a rock so hard to move, very uncomfortable. So I'm going to try to fix it up for him. First thing you want to do, get a damp uh, paper towel. Not too damp, but you know, a little wet. So you want to you know, wet the whole glove. As you can see, it's getting discolored. Um, don't freak out if that happens because it'll go back to normal once it's dry. Just go don't get it too, too wet. So, you know, you want to do one coat of that all over the glove. Get the whole inside. The webbing. Just everything. So yeah, once you do that, you could dispose of that paper towel. Then what you want to do is get some glove conditioning oil. I like Franklin the best personally. So um, moisten glove lightly with damp rag. That's what I just did. Then you apply oil and rub in firmly over the whole glove. So um, let that focus. You don't want to do it too much on a lightly colored glove because if you do too much it'll lead to discoloration of the glove so I'll be right back so you get your paper towel you don't want to put too much on but decent amount as you can see the red color let that soak in a little bit I actually probably put on a little too much but it's fine so uh just do a light coat at first. Not too light, but pretty light. So yeah, just get it all over the glove. And then once you do the first coat, I'd let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. And I'd do another coat and get a little bit heavier. And then maybe one last coat after that, get heavier. But uh, every time after you do a coat, you just want to, you know, obviously put your hand in it, move it around a little bit, squeeze, um, just stuff like that, you know, throw a baseball into it and stuff. So I'll be back when I'm doing the next coat. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, you just keep doing coats. I would do about three or four, nothing too much. And then, you know, once you have the coats done, just throw baseballs into it, move it around with your hands, uh, keep squeezing. That's what it's called. So yeah, it works pretty good. I'll show you guys the final product, or... Actually, I probably won't, maybe in another video, but... um. And then once you're done with your last coat, you could put that the ball in the pocket, squeeze this, and then get rubber bands and make it tight. That's what I like to do. So I'll do that after the last coat. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys are wondering, I'll probably make this like a baseball video channel with my uh, two other friends. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video.